Hi, my name is Randy Ryan and I'm 24 years old. I started learning piano when I was five in my kindergarten and then I moved to Jakarta Conservatory of Music when I was 10 and then I moved to New York and when I was 18 to study at the Jewish school in New York with Hong Kwan Chen and then I recently just finished my master's degree at the Peabody Conservatory with Leon Fleischer. This piano means to me everything, I think, because it's something that I've always known since I was five years old and honestly, I don't know how I would live my life without music because it really changed someone when you, start, like, when you are exposed to classical music especially. I'm doing many different composers for my concert. I like Bela Bartok, who's a Hungarian composer. He, I, I'm playing his suite Opus 14, which is basically a collection of four different dance suites, and they're very short. And he wrote this very early on as a composer, I think. And I'm playing a bit of in Piano Sonata Opus 90 in E minor, which some would say is like the bridge between Beethoven's earlier style and Beethoven's late, late styles. Because after Opus 90, like, um, it's the famous late sonatas. And I'm also playing one movement of Maurice Ravel's Miroirs, which is Alvarado del Gracioso, which translates to a uh, Spanish jester. So you can hear like some kind of Spanish elements and just very like jokingly. And then like in the middle of the section, there's also like some sensuality into the music. And the last piece I'm going to play is Schumann Fantasy in C major. Schumann dedicated this piece to Franz Liszt, and I think this is one of the most, like the grand, the grandest piece that Schumann ever written, because he also like in this piece he mixed between the classical sonata form, which has a clear structure to the music, and his element of fantasy like where it's more improvisatory. Well, I'm hoping that they can get the different characters from like each different composers because these, these are all composers from different backgrounds and nationalities. We have a Hungarian composer, we also have a French composer, and then I'm closing it with a German composer. So based on all those three different pieces, hopefully you can hear the characteristics and the style of each composer. I really hope that all of you can join me on the 29th of June at 7.30 p.m. at the Grand Atelier and Cultural Center. I hope to see you there.